I think it's important to hear that uh, there are people in Israel who are drastically against the occupation. Naturally, when we sing about the army or the occupation, it's obvious that we're against it. And uh, that's it, we try to criticize it through our songs. There have been a lot of suicide bombings and a lot of uh, strikes from both, from uh, a lot of terrorism from both sides. But um, the Israeli punk usually supports the. It doesn't support the Palestinian side, obviously. It supports uh, the Palestinian people because um, the Palestinian uh, authority and uh, leadership is obviously just as uh, corrupt, corrupted and violent as the Israeli leadership. You know, people in Aza, you know, Arabs in Aza, they hate the bombers, you know, they hate all the mechablim and shit, yeah. Because after a bomb act, all of them can't work, you know. They, they close Gaza. They, they close Gaza, you know, everybody, uh, they don't work, they don't have food for their families, and they don't like it. So stop this shit. Yeah. They, they want peace, we want peace, but the prime minister is an asshole. On one side we should protect ourselves, on the other side we should uh, not harm other people. The people like us, the civilians. You hear all these stories about, you know, the army has to go and find all those terror groups that's hiding in, in people's homes, in people's houses in the Gaza Strip and then if the army has to go there and, and, and shoot or bomb or whatever, because they're trying to get those, all those terrorists out of the houses, sometimes like innocent people die. I heard this story, you were in it, don't know if it's true. Lately, every song I've read, turned out about you. Well, actually, before the army, I thought that the territories is just some other country. Really, yeah. I didn't know about it. You know, you have lots of small, like, Towns, you know, like there's Israel, Jews, and, and they're all surrounded, by, all Arabs. surrounded by Arabs, you know, and there's a lot of them. So we have to protect those assholes. Yeah, <laughs> so we protect them. I don't care about the Arabs, I don't care about the Israeli people who live there. I mean, they can all do whatever they want. If you, want, if you want to live on territories, just live there. I don't need to protect you, you know, like, it's your choice. You need to protect yourself, I think, or just come back to Tel Aviv. <laughs> I used to be a mailman, so I worked with a lot of uh, Palestinian people, and I didn't have a problem with anyone. I even used to hang out with them, and every everything was nice and cool. It's like the, the small percent of certain people that are really fucked up psychos, just like we have our s small percent of fucking religious freaks. <laughs> Uh, my dad is from Afghanistan and uh, my mom is from Libya. The funny thing is uh, that my dad told me that uh, in Afghanistan the Jews and the Muslims were getting along really fine and uh, it was only until the... only when uh, Israel started to form, um, I mean they, they started to get their problems over there. Yeah, not, not too long ago I got an email from uh, Malaysia 
from a girl that really likes us and whatever, and all her friends are really into our band and stuff. And she was like, yeah, you got to come over here and stuff. And I was like, well, we can't. We can never go to Malaysia just because it's Muslim and we're from Israel and they would never let us in because we just can't go in there. And she was like, but I don't get it. You just, <laughs> just, you can do it. I mean, I can organize a show. And I'm like, yeah, it'll be totally cool, but we can't go in the country. This situation has like a catch-22. It yeah. doesn't have any real, real good solution. The solution is... Uh, the only solutions that can be demand very, very, very big compromising. Huh? Compromising on both sides. On both sides, and both those sides don't want to do those compromises. They yeah, don't man. want to do it. That's the Palestinian people. No matter what you'll give them, they'll never be satisfied about it. All they want is to throw, throw us out of here. Because I think... Uh... Why our side, why the Jewish side doesn't want to make these big uh, compromises is uh, because we have nowhere else to go. That's the only land we have. And, and we got like enemies all around us and within us these past three years. And we, we have to, to stand our ground. We have to keep it because that's all we have. I mean, you can understand both, both of the sides, side, both sides. but yet both of them are Wrong. Both of them are late. I mean, you, you could solve it without all this bullshit. Okay? Yeah. Road not to peace. Um, it's a very positive uh, approach to the issue since uh, George W. Bush um, has made a show strength and brutality in Afghanistan and Iraq. So not even Arafat wants to mess with it now, as far as I uh, see it. There's been uh, two, two mistakes um, in this uh, roadmap. First thing, the Bush administration ignores the separation wall Sharon is building in the West uh, Bank. The separation wall is uh, supposed to be a security wall that will eventually become the border between uh, Israel and Palestine. It is built dozens of kilometers in, inside the Palestinian side, uh, tearing down villages and fields, and basically makes the whole Palestinian land uh, divided into seven different areas uh, of control. I believe it will have to change uh, before the roadmap uh, will take will take uh, practical practical uh, steps. I'm a peace man, and Omri Goldin, our uh, singer that died in uh, terror attack by the suicidal bomber, he moved to the north to live uh, near to the Arabs in the north and to live the spirits of peace. He learned uh, Arabic, and uh, his father built an industry park started to build industry park there that was to combine Israeli Arabs and Jews. A lot of the Jewish left sees the solution as having two states living side by side with a big wall in the middle, not talking to each other, but you know, not having to fight because they're separated. And the whole beginning of a process of real peace and a way to live normally is by actually talking to each other and learning that the different side and different culture and actually learning to live together, not separated. And the fact that there is there is pretty, well not big, but there are people in Israel and in, Pal in the Palestinian territory that actually believe that this is the way to change things is important. It's important for people, for people to know that. 